Hey guys, Chicky456 here, back with another video. And as you can tell by this title, this is going to actually be a five part custom series. And each of these five parts are going to be for one character each from a show that you guys probably have not heard of. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to be making customs of the Gomal Jr. boys. Please don't hate me. So yeah, that's gonna be a thing. <laughs> I might as well go in order of how the boys' names line up. First, we're starting off with Gopal, the main leader, the bold, the strong, the confident, who's also scared of the dark, teen. So anyways, let's be getting into the supplies I'll be needing by first showing off what kind of My Little Pony I'll be using. Um, okay, they decided to change the structure, base, whatever, of the ponies again. Probably not my favorite way for how they look, but I'll make do with what I can. Okay, now let's get into supplies we'll be needing. Okay, so for this custom, I'm actually not going to be needing too many colors. I'm going to need the typical white. I got dark blue for his eyes, red for his whole body, black, brown for his hair, and paint sealer. I'll also be needing clay to sculpt his hair and tail. So anyways, let's get into the customizing. Okay, so I'm stupid. I should have sculpted on the hair first, then painted the base coat, but whatever. I'm going to be using this new kind of clay, hearty clay. Joanna from Cute Life Hacks introduced me to this clay when I see her use it. And I thought it was just a clay you'd have to, I'd have to order online or it was in a different country. So you could probably guess how happy I was when I saw this in stores. I sadly had to get rid of my other clay. It just finally, it's, it lasted me a good while, but it finally just got to the point where it was stone. If anyone knows any good tips or tricks with clay, let me know down below. Thank you. So now I'm going to be using this clay to sculpt on Gopu's hair. Gopal's hair. Gopu. Gopal! That's his name! That's how you say it! Go Paul! <laughs> I would say this clay also kind of has like a rubbery kind of texture. Like it feels like that, um, not Play-Doh, Crayola's Magic Model Clay. I actually used to like that stuff when I was younger. Just gotta wait for this to dry and then I can start painting it. Little contraption I made. It's hot glue, two pins, some washi tape all on a popsicle stick. And it's to help hold the head while I paint it. And in pencil I kind of drew like a borderline of where I would stop the red paint so later on I'll go in with the brown paint to paint his hair. I'm going to be painting the hair, which is going to be brown. Okay, I need to say this now before I forget. There was this one episode, and I believe its name was Nama Zay, Nama Zay Zero, I believe is how the title is pronounced. I sadly, of course, cannot play the clip because of copyright, but it was funny because right at the end, they had to like catch this guy who stole a diamond 
and snuck into their school. And they caught him and right at the very end, the guys were talking and of course I can understand what they're saying. But the funniest part was, was when Goku, Gopal, he was talking and he was like, no, 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 because I guess they were trying to say like who was the one who really defeated him. And Gopal was just like, no, 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 it was me, all right? I'm this dude, you fool. And just the way he said it, oh my gosh. I laughed so much at that. I find that part hilarious. Because he said, he's like, no, no, he's like, no, it's because of me, all right? I'm the stewed, you, he said stewed, you fool. I don't know what that means, but he, I guess that means he's a strong guy. And then Madhav at the end just like, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, Gopu. <laughs> so it had like a happy ending with them not fighting, which is nice. It was just them kind of like, all right, yeah, whatever. Just the way he said that was his accent. It was hilarious. I wish I could play the clip, but again, copyright. All right, guys, so the hair has been completely painted now with three coats. And now I'll be able to start working on the details of the face. So I'll be going in with a dotting tool to fill in the mouth. And I'm probably just going to keep it black. And of course I'll be going in with white for his eyes. And his eye shape is pretty much an oval. Kind of creepy right now, but after a few coats it'll look better. After a few coats of white paint, I actually went around with black paint around the eyes. Next I'll be going in with this Colbate Hue to paint his eyes. Originally all the characters' eyes on the show, they're black, they're just like black dots. But you know me, I like to add eye color because I think it adds more to the character. So for him, I went with blue when I draw him. I'll also be going in with black paint to draw on the eyebrows. Alright, so I think everything is set and ready to go. So I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to put the head back on the uh, little contraption I made. Get my paint sealer ready, and then I could start painting on a few coats of paint sealer. Just put this over an open flame and let it cook. No, not really, of course. Alright, I'm just going to start painting the body after a few base coats, and I'm going to be painting it in apple red to represent the jacket, the red jacket he wears. I'm going to be heading back to my job soon. So again, I don't know a full schedule yet or how this will affect my time when it comes to making videos. I plan to, of course, still keep making customs and videos, but yeah, it might take a little bit longer now. So I'm going to be going in and painting the pony's hooves. Originally I was going to paint them brown to match his hair color, but I decided to go with a darker red wine color in this case to match his shoes, his dark red shoes he wears. I nearly forgot I'm supposed to put cutie marks on him. I don't really have a full out plan for what their cutie marks are. They are teenagers in the show, except for Lucky. So I'm thinking of actually giving each boy like a star cutie mark, and then like it'll be like a yellow star, and then it'll have the co another color inside that star. Kind of almost like connecting them. I'm going with a dotting tool and try to hopefully create a good star. Kind of like his hair, I think I'm going to give his tail three, like, hair spikes. Okay, so I actually decided to paint the tail and already super glue it on, and I will now be putting paint sealer over the whole body.
Again, I know I say this in usually all my videos, but this will definitely take a few coats. This figure is going to be pretty tricky to paint, that's for sure. Just with how small it is and all the different spots I gotta get. Okay, so you guys ready to see the final product? I have to say, he came out absolutely adorable. I really love how this turned out. I think he looks really cute. His hair looks really good. And another part I do like, I will, I will admit what I do like about these um, figures is how the head works. So I'd be able to move the head instead of the other ones where if I painted over it, I couldn't and the head would kind of just be stuck. Because um, if I were to twist the heads on the old ones, the paint would start to peel off. So yeah, I would just have to be a little bit careful around here. But other than that, he's actually got like a full movable head, which is pretty nice, which is actually really nice. His cutie mark is just a simple yellow star with a darker red star in it. His tail's pretty cute. I like how the hoofs came out. His face came out really good. And again, his hair came out really good. Overall, as you can probably tell, I'm really happy with how he turned out. I think he looks really adorable. And I feel like it looks just like him in my little pony form, of course. But overall, I really love with how this turned out. And I can't wait to add him to the collection. And next is going to be his adorable nerdy partner in crime, Luxman One. So he's going to be in the next part of this series. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more customs like this along with other art videos. And overall, have a good day. This has been a Chicky 456 video. I are wind of it.